Virtual reality is a really cool thing, and if you're anything like me, you want to play it straight away. However, the only problem with it is that the pricing is outrageously high. What if I told you that there was a cheap, affordable way to test out virtual reality without having to go buy the $1,000 headset that you need to play all the VR games? What if I told you you can use just your phone and $5 to get a virtual reality experience so you can test it out for yourself to see if you like it. Yes, there is a way and I'm going to show you. Alright, to begin with, we need a few prerequisite things. For one, we need a decent computer that can actually run VR games. Second, we need a decent phone. I personally use a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 with a 1440p screen. The better the screen, the better experience you will have. Third, we need a $5 piece of equipment. This would be the Google Cardboard or something similar. There are some better VR mobile headsets out there with head straps which would be highly recommended in this case. However, I only have the Google Cardboard on hand and I'll be showing you that instead of a more high-end $30 one. And last you'll need a Wi-Fi router. I'm pretty sure everyone has one by now, but it is preferred to have a 5 gigahertz band on that router as you'll get a better bandwidth between your computer and your phone. Don't worry, 2.4 gigahertz is still fine. We also need some handy software that can, needs to be downloaded. First, we'll need Steam. As you know, that's where Steam VR comes in, so you'll just need Steam to download Steam VR. You can do this going through the Steam tools list. And I will also highly recommend that you download the Steam VR PC test benchmarks so that you can test if your computer is even capable of playing VR games. Mine passed with flying colors. Once you pass this test, it will be all good to continue. If you didn't pass, you can still continue, but you might not have an optimal experience this way. Next, we'll need RiftCat. This nifty program is what makes the whole thing work. It's basically an application that merges your computer's power with your phone's screen and sensors, giving it the whole ability to play VR games that you want from your PC. For now, we download the application on, from their website and the companion app from Google Play. And we're ready to get things started. So I'm going to do this in steps. Step one, we need to start VRig on your phone and launch RiftCat on your computer in whatever order that you prefer. Step two, when connected, your phone's name will, and ID will appear on the computer. Click once to identify your phone and make sure you're connected. It's quite straightforward and easy to see. Once connected, you're presented with the choice to play Steam VR games or Oculus Rift games. And you can also play Rift Cat games, which are free games designed specifically for the platform of Rift Cat. However, any VR game will work fine. And step four, test it out. Simply launch Steam VR and using a button on RiftCat and it will automatically launch it on your phone and slot that into your cardboard and put it on your face and see if it works. For me, it works straight away. It connected and it had no problems. So hopefully for you, it works straight away. So I hope you all liked this video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you got to work straight away. If you didn't, comment and I'll help you out through the process. And make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.